Okay, um, so yeah, today is Friday's Guild War. Shrink that out of the way there. Um, what did I have? I had a few things, so we're just going to lump them all together. I'm just going to do this real quick. Oh, we get nothing. <clears throat> um, I got a few of these just because the hooch, the hoochie shop came, so I uh, bought a few Mystic Metals out of that. We'll, we'll do a few of these. Hey, it's uh, Dust Devil. I think, uh, hopefully, right, and it's not going to happen, right, it doesn't really, <laughs> it's just wishful thinking, but hopefully, uh, if I pull some other, like, ML5 star out of this, and then I pull Lilius, and then, well, and then I get enough coins to get Lilius, um, that would be ideal, so hopefully we get that, um, still hoping for it, but obviously we haven't gotten anything yet, so there's that, but yeah, so let's get back to the main reason we're here today, and that's the Guild Wars. Uh, let's go here. Let's take a look at our defense here. So we haven't been attacked. We got attacked here. That's when I had her down here. I kind of liked her here, um, but what I did was I ended up moving her to the top. So right here, she's still part of that one. This is the one we, we lost most recently. I didn't do the video on this because I forgot. Um, yeah, so we lost here. So what I'm thinking, I, I decided to put her up here this time. It should be. Yeah, she's, she's up here now. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to see how this goes. I put Ramiro here. I actually have no idea why I put Ramiro here. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm. Bef I don't. I don't remember putting that. I, I think I was supposed to put someone else there. I'm not sure who else I would put there, but <laughs> I don't know why Ramiro is here. Um, maybe I would have put. Um, what's her name? Uh, Hua Young there. But why Ramirez is there, I have no idea. I, that was dumb. Okay. <laughs> Let's not pay attention to that. Um, do I think that team is going to be good with Hua Young and, um, and Landy? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but I think it won't be too bad. Here, we're going to go with a pretty easy team down here. I'm just looking at the bottom one right now just because it looks so easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring you... We're gonna bring where is uh light light down here. We bring you and we need like um I might just bring no I don't know, we'll see if we bring we've gotta find someone. Um Hmm. I gotta remember not to take too long because let me see there's like people watching this but uh there's like a whole bunch of people I could bring but I don't know yeah I'll just bring uh, what's her name let's go get um Hua Young here we'll see if she we'll, sh we'll see if we need her up here up here but if, we don't have any AOE so we're probably gonna go with you we're gonna. I'm gonna try to bring in some. Uh, where is the? I'm gonna bring in crowd just to give uh, her a little bit more damage protection because she's gonna take uh, her hits and his hits probably and him. Unless I bring in like a light unit, but I don't really foresee myself bringing any light units here. Um, did I have somebody to counter? I did have someone to counter him and it was that green guy as uh, a hawk but like I said I don't really like you can't really rely on him he usually like he usually doesn't kill um, so I'm just gonna go with him see how we can see what we can do here I'm not sure who he's gonna go for on the first s3 hopefully it's not Ramiro but if it is Ramiro hopefully he doesn't die um, yeah yeah I need ideally I'd probably want someone to cleanse here because um, her debuffs while not like super detrimental are still pretty irritating uh, what if you bring in I, I guess we'll have to go like 
with someone like that, right? Ideally, I want a better damage dealer, but I don't think this is too bad. Problematically, she's going to get stomped on by him, like, immediately. Yeah, one S3 from him and she's dead, so I guess I can't do that. This is really bad. Mm, how do we do this? Okay, I have an idea. What if... There's a lot of damage coming out of this, so we're just going to drop you. Where is my... Uh, here we go. You. And we need like a decent damage dealer, which could be Ravi again here. What do you think about that? I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't think that looks too bad. We're just gonna go with this. Unfortunately, Crow is gonna S3 somebody, which is gonna suck, but whatever. As long as it's not um, a Ravi, we're fine. And that that uh, <laughs> this uh, what's his name is actually kind of um, low speed. It's interesting. Uh, I guess is that like a thing people are doing with just going with low speed. Um, Am I violet these days? I'm not sure. Okay, so he missed. And he's got attack break, which is good. So, theoretically, it means um, he'll go on. He'll take a lot of damage for us, which is good. Uh, we're gonna hit him. We're gonna try to burn his. Yeah, we're gonna try to burn his uh, S, his S2, whatever, as fast as possible. Um, because right now he's again he's blind and, and attack broken. So. Well, we actually hit him with dizzy, and there we go. So that was the biggest threat. Our next threat is going to be uh, Crow, but we'll like, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And he's stunned, so we might be able to just stun him at some point. We're getting a lot of dual attacks here. Yeah, my uh, my dizzy, of course, is run on. Um, I run around the uh, what's that artifact? Fortunately, Krau's targeting. Um, G perg here, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. I wasn't paying attention to see if he has Aureus or not, which is going to be the main problem. Because I could, like, kill him with Ravi's S3 or something like that, but, like, he's going to come back and kill somebody, and then I wasted the S3, right? So. Oh, uh, let's try to back him up here. We're just lapping him like crazy. So, so yeah, sometimes we forget how useful um, Dizzy is in certain teams. He still just shuts him down. It's just that people are like, you know, they're getting better at like realizing uh, not to leave your team open to Dizzy so easily. Okay, so we're getting the S3 out, which is good. Um, it's going to be on Jeeper. Hopefully he doesn't die just because I don't want to risk not reviving him. Let's go with uh, we'll go with this one. Did we miss? I think we missed. Well, not missed, but I think we didn't. Uh, think he resisted. My point. Um, I really want to make like a better dizzy. My dizzy is not the worst right now, but like I mean, she can always get better. She's got way too many like you know flip floppy stats. Like, you probably want to get her to like two thousand. Um, 20,000 HP, maybe like, uh, I don't know, two, 210 speed, something like that, isn't, isn't too unviable on her. Okay, then we're gonna hit you with this. Let's try to sober and hit him with this. See if he revives. Okay, oh, you didn't. Yeah, the... The revival, like the, uh, you know... 
it's not exactly a meme, but it kind of, it's kind of a meme, you know, like, let's kill, actually, I'm not sure who to kill here, because I could just kill him and get him out of the way, but Ravi is usually like a bigger threat, so we're just going to S3 Ravi first. Now we're gonna ask three you, and now he's problem solved. So we just dump all our damage into Belly. And I think either way that would have worked out, right? But you know, whatever. Oh wow, that's a counter Bellion. Counter Bellion is slightly better in Guild War than she is in. Um, regular arena or maybe even RTA uh, just because you're banking more on her damage because it's a single target thing Let's see we're gonna go with you you're banking more on her damage um, in Guild War because you're spreading out on these people um, whereas in uh, arena you're banking more on like the fact that she inflicts injury and you're just like reducing their ability to heal and like their life bars as time goes on so they have to like either beat you quick, which is hard, because it's hard to cleave her, because again, she has AoE counterattacks, um, or you're just gonna keep taking all this, like, free damage, right? Oh, I forgot to S3. She, she should've been dead already. But yeah. Is it, is it still good to run her on counter set? I mean, even then, I'd still probably just rather have her on the injury set, personally. Um, I think that permanent damage is, is too good to pass up. But then again, you know, who, like, if you can end the, the fight sooner by getting two S3s up, like, getting two S1s off rather than, like, one S1 off, and then uh, you didn't get one because you, you didn't have counter attack set, I mean, probably counter is better, right, in that situation. So it's just up to you, whatever, which one ever, whichever you want to put your, you know, whichever basket you want to put your eggs in. Um, let's go here. Okay, so we've got, let's see, here you have to kind of think about who's going to go first. Okay, the same team down here, but up here. Okay, there's a bit of a mistake here, I think. I mean, it's not that much of a mistake, but... We're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with... Oh, come on. I'm gonna go with this. Actually, we're gonna go with this. Uh, th yeah, th here we go. Uh, this is kind of what I was just like. We're just gonna try this. Um, neither of these two block buffs they don't have buff block um and he's just gonna die and then we're just gonna have a three on two and these people aren't gonna do anything but dual attack with each other and that's not gonna help anybody so we're just gonna go with that i mean let's just see what happens uh oh that's not good um We'll just hit him with this, what, all right? Hopefully we reset her cooldown so she doesn't S3 us immediately. Did she resist that? She might have. I feel like she did, which that kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, she did, okay, so that's funny. Again, these buffs, these debuffs that she's putting on us, like either way, they're like, none, none of this is like 100% that threatening. Um. But it's certainly not something you want to like just sit there and take. So, um, uh, I'll actually be right back. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Who's she gonna target with this? Oh, that's kind of interesting. This is really weird. Just like they're just both dual attacking. And basically piss all. Just hit you real quick. Yeah, you kind of want someone, you want to pair dual attackers with someone a little more, um, what's the word? Just someone who has a little more longevity, you know what I mean? Like, you could just kill Arby and there's your whole damage dealing thing. Like, I'm not sure, you know. I guess if I didn't have, like, if I didn't have ML Haste there, um, let's just see if I kill you this time again. If I didn't have ML Haste there, I can understand where, like, okay, maybe he would S3 us and it'd be, like, you know, some serious damage potential, but otherwise it's, like, you know, you could I could have just brought, like, an ML, uh, what's her name? ML Lilius or something. 
No, not like this. Um, I'm also Celia, or just any kind of like decent tank. Like if I had like Crow there, I mean, he would have just absorb the hit for us, and we would have had extra damage, right? Like either way, like he makes it safer and more easy. But it, like, yeah, just just keep in mind that if you're gonna have a dual attacker like that, you need someone to go along with them. That's gonna be you know pretty good and sur pretty survivable. Uh, which is why I bring, um, which is why I put, let's move you up, which is why I, I put, um, with my Cerise, I, I threw in, um, what's, what's her name, uh, A-Ravi, and I threw in Bellion, because they have a decent chance of, like, you know, surviving and then, like, being able to dual attack with her more. Um, and if you're, like, if it's between, okay, so if I'm gonna kill Ravi, or I'm gonna kill... The person dual attacking with a Ravi, right? You kind of want to kill the person dual attacking with them because they're going to cycle you more. Um, in that case, you kind of already won because if you're getting their focus off of Ravi and making them kill Cerise instead first, then Ravi still gets to go later, right? Uh, so you're drawing aggro away from Ravi is the main point I was making there. Um, and that's a good thing. So that's what you're, you know, keep in mind when you're building your dual attacking teams or like you have, a, you know, someone in particular. Um, you don't want it to be someone so squishy and someone like, you know, so fragile. You kind of want them to be decent. Um, lastly, we're going to go with uh, this one. Again, I think in this case, I might just go with that same team from last time. We're going to look down here, though. So first, we're going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with you. Uh, we, we came with... We had... Uh, what's his name? Where are you? Uh, we had you here last time. Uh, I forgot who we had in the front. Was it... It was, uh, yeah, it was Ravi. A Ravi. So we'll probably just go with this and see where that leads us. Um, down here... See, this is what I'm talking about. See? This is the exact same team I just had on my team. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you... We're bringing you... Um, actually, I think I can just bring... What's her name here, too? Where is she? I could just bring you, right? Uh, where are you? I could bring you. Um, yeah, I could do this. This seems feasible. Um, I think instead of you, though, I'm gonna bring. Uh, actually, we'll just leave you. We'll just leave you. We'll see what happens. Um, or maybe I should. Maybe I should just bring a Ravi. Or, uh, I wasn't thinking of bringing LQC, but I don't know, we're, we're just kind of weird. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Let's see how this turns out. Uh, AOE. Oh, A-Revy's up here. I, I don't know, I was thinking about bringing A-Revy down there, maybe. Possibly. We're gonna do this. Okay, he dodged that. We're gonna do this. Watch him dodge this. Um, theoretically, that's you know just what he's gonna do. No, I don't mean that to be sarcastic. I just uh, I'm calculating how long it'll take to get rid of his S3. Come on, counter, counter set, counter set. Yes, counter. Okay, so please miss. Okay, he didn't miss, but he still has defense down, which is. Or attack down, which is, you know, as good as we can hope for at this point. He did, like, an insane amount of damage there, though. Let's get this S3 out of you, or just hit you, I guess. So we missed. Hopefully we strip something off of him. Attack buff, maybe, hopefully. Uh, I am just going to hit him, just to get rid of this. And <laughs> we keep hitting him now, so... That's an interesting uh, turn of events there. Um, come on, S3. Okay, we missed. And he's gonna kill... Oh, he's not gonna kill Ravi. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh man, I've been watching too much, uh... <laughs> I've been watching too much... Um... Mango... Taking his, like, catchphrase thing. Okay, so we're basically done here. Um... I could probably just pause it and come back. <laughs> um... Hit you just because I want your attention on her. That was the other thing I wanted to kind of add was like focus as much on like survivability and then whatever I could have left over put on damage for uh, 
Dizzy, just because like Dizzy doesn't do the most damage, obviously, but like I mean, she still does. She still packs on quite a bit of damage, and um, especially when you can just like War of Attrition a lot of things, that Dizzy's damage is good enough for that because they can't heal this damage away, right? Um, so every little bit you're doing helps. Set him with this. Let's uh, let's do this to her. Come on, just die. There we go. Cool. Let's do this. Well, I was kind of like hoping she would die faster, but like I just realized that you know, if G Perk dies, it doesn't matter because like G Perk's health is low, and I'm not, I wasn't sure if I could like um, hit him with the S3. But I'm just gonna waste it just to get as much damage as I can out of her. 11k on a unit like that. It's like a third of her health bar, half in some cases. Okay then, um, let's see. Right, so we're gonna hit you. Well, this is bad actually. Um, yeah, we're gonna hit you just because he can revive, and she's like the hardest one to get rid of here. So, go. Ooh, she cleansed one, which is pretty irritating. And this is happening. Yep, everything's happening. Uh, let's do this. So now we have to burn the S3 on you. We're gonna get s one by, um, Bellion right now in a second. Oh no, we didn't. Okay. So here's the S3. Fortunately, uh, oh actually, yeah, okay. Five K off an S one. That's not bad, especially with uh, how much defense and everything she's got. Let's cleanse all this stuff off. I probably should have done the S three first just to like help Amelia cycle better. Uh, we'd be in a better situation right now, but uh, whatever, it's fine. Uh oh, this is bad. She lost. If she doesn't have a buff, she doesn't get the secondary uh, proc. I mean, that that's from the Uberge tooth, but you know what I mean. Um. Okay, now let's just hit you with this. I don't know. This probably shouldn't kill her. Um, let's see what we're looking at here. Oh, we killed her. Cool. And there you go. That's how you do that. Um, ML Kawazu still has the same problem he's always had, and that's the problem that he's too um, he's too squishy. Uh, yeah, it's hard to build him with all the stats you need, and also like not have him be squishy. With five stars, a lot of time, ugh, that's disgusting. With five stars, a lot of time, you don't have to make a compromise between damage and squishness. Um, some of them do so much damage that you really want to maximize that and just not care if they're squishy at all. Um, but sometimes, like, I have this problem with the same problem with um, ML Serato, is where, like, you can't get enough damage on him without giving up some, like, of his tankiness, right? It's a huge juggle to be doing that on him. But, uh, but yeah, anyway. If you want to hear my opinion, I think they should just give uh, ML Zerato defense scaling and he'll be solid after that, but that's my thing. Uh, but anyway, like I said, um, that was today's Guild War. We went um, 3 for 3, uh, so that's pretty cool. Well, it's actually 6 for 6, right? Because you can fail like one half of each tower or whatever. But we got all of them. Um, it wasn't too bad. We didn't lose uh, units to get worried about. Like, we lost ML Kawazu, which is like, who cares, right? Um, and hopefully, for those of you, if this team starts coming out, I don't think you're going to see this team very often, but if you do start seeing a lot, um, you can see it's not, like, the hardest thing to deal with. Um, although, uh, Amelia is a limited unit, so, I mean, if you don't have her, I mean, you're going to have to figure something out. Um, is she coming back? I think Rem is coming back, actually, yeah. No, yeah, Rem is with Amelia, so if she's coming back, she's coming back, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're part of the same. Yeah, they're part of the same thing. I'm just like super confused. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's today's Guild War, and uh, we'll probably have another video tomorrow. I'm not sure what it's going to be on though, but we'll see when we get there.